Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out the Urban Decay Stoned Vibes eyeshadow palette. Such a beautiful palette, you guys. So I'm looking on Ulta's website and this just launched and it's going to be $54 for this eyeshadow palette. So just by looking at the packaging, I think they really, really did such a beautiful job with creating this eyeshadow palette. You guys can, I'm going to kind of turn it and you can see that you get the stoned vibes, just like they initiated this palette to be. So now when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It does have a good size mirror and they have all these beautiful shimmers as you guys can see. I really want to show you guys what this eyeshadow palette looks like up close. And you guys can even see the top of the eyeshadow palette as well. So these eyeshadows do have a uh, reflex to it. There's a mixture of colors inside each shimmer. And these just look like they are stones. I have obviously already used some of these colors. Um, so I, I was going to originally do like a first impression for you guys. But I want to show you guys different looks that you guys can do with these eyeshadows. So I've already dipped into some of the matte shades. And there's only four matte shades in this palette. Which I was kind of like... I was wishing there was a little bit more that you guys can play around with. But... This just kind of creates like an everyday type of eyeshadow palette. There are some deeper shades. Uh, this color here is actually kind of... I want to say it's matte, but it does have some type of like shimmer to it. It's very... Um, I don't know how to describe it. But it's not fully matte. You could use it just to darken up some of your looks. I just want to play around with it a little bit more and use all shimmers for an eyeshadow look for you guys. I, I will have another tutorial in this video showing you guys how you guys can do something very subtle using some of these matte shades. Uh, but I want to do something a little bit more dramatic for my talk through video. So I'm going to put a timestamp when this video will continue with like a try on of this video. But for those of you that are subscribed to me, I wanted to tell you guys that my content has started to slow down since my, my kids started school. It's been really difficult for me to keep up with all of my social media platforms and also keep up with my kids and their schooling. So my content will continue to slow down. Also, Halloween is approaching, so I'm gonna start working on some of my Halloween looks for you guys already. And... Yeah, so I just wanted to throw that out there just so you guys are aware, like, I'm completely okay. Nothing's wrong with me, but I'm just trying to get a handle on how life is just, like, throwing everything at me right now. I just launched a business, if you guys did not know. I'll go ahead and link the video up here. I did start selling some products on my website, so if you guys want to support me, I would really, really appreciate it. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. Um, and for those of you that have already purchased from me, thank you so much. I just thought it was really important for me to tell you guys what, like why I'm not posting on my YouTube channel as much. Um, if you guys do want to keep up with me, please follow me on my Instagram. That's where I'm most active and all of my social media handles are linked down below. I'm kind of like being more active on other platforms aside from YouTube because YouTube is the most time consuming for me when it comes to editing. So... Like I said, follow me on my other platforms, especially Instagram. I post like every single day on my Instagram stories so that you guys can keep up with what I'm up to. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into a try on of this eyeshadow palette. No, I'd rather be waking up with you. Set up alone in your room, slept with the light on, waiting up for you. Don't, I don't want to be. I did my eyebrows off of camera and now I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Cosmetics Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I've never tried this before up until this video. Um, this is going to be my second time using it. And what I mean by that is that I have another tutorial coming up after this, which is the first time I used the eyeshadow palette and this here. So that's what I mean, okay? Not lying. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and apply the primer throughout the eye. Now, from a first impression, when I first tried this primer before this video, I don't really see like a huge difference. I feel like I like how my concealer works better than this primer. But, I mean, I'm just trying it out for the first time with you guys in this video and just thought of sharing my opinions with you guys. I just don't feel like it really made a big difference. 
with eyeshadows, but whatever. So the first color I'm going to play around with is this one here. And this is the color Opal Aura. And it's just a really pretty baby blue. Let's see if it appears the same way on the eye. I'm going to go in with my finger and I'm just going to be applying it onto the lid. Ooh, it kind of has like a shift of lilac. I'm pretty sure it's not visible on camera, but it definitely is in person. It looks really, really beautiful. So again, I'm just going in with my finger. And now I'm going to try to soften up these edges by going into the color Good Karma, which is that shade right there. And I'm taking a Morphe M456 brush. I'm going to begin to blend these edges out. All right, and now I'm going to go into the next shade, which is this one here called Ojo. I'm going to take the same finger. I wiped it off, by the way, on a makeup towel before dipping in here. And I'm going to place it right next to that other one. And just like that. Now I'm going to use a Pixie E03 brush. And I'm going to take the color Ojo once again. I'm going to just start to bring it out this way. And just like that. Then I'm going to go back in with the Morphe M456 brush that I used to diffuse this outer edge right there. And I'm going to just start to work these edges out. I didn't put anything on this brush, by the way, but besides the first color that I used, which is Good Karma, but I didn't dip back into Good Karma. I just have whatever's on this brush, and I'm just trying to diffuse the edges out. Okay, so now that I have this kind of blended out, I know that we still have a harsh line right there. Don't worry about that. I'm going to fix that, but I'm going to be dipping into the color Antidote, which is this shade right here. So I'm going to be placing this color right on top of that blue shade and really working it in there just so that we have a nice blend of eyeshadows. <gasps> I just dopey that. I literally forgot I had eyeshadow on my freaking finger. <laughs> okay, so I'm back with Antidote. I'm going to just go back in here again. Make sure that we have no harsh edges. Take a little bit of good karma in there as well. Same brush. I'm going to put that right underneath the eyebrow just to highlight it. Again, antidote. I'm blending. All right, so that's pretty blended now. Well, I'm going to just use the same brush once again. And I'm going to go back into that pixie brush and really deposit the color into the outer corner right here. This is the color Ojo once again. I don't know how I feel about this. I almost feel like I need a fluffier brush. I'm going to grab now the Morphe M412 brush. And again, with the color Ojo, I'm going to go ahead and apply it right out here. I feel like this is the brush that I needed. I almost want to intensify this color just a little bit more. And to do so, I'm going to take a Luxie 121 mini tapered brush. It's really small and fluffy. I'm going to grab the color Third Eye, and that's this dark brown shade. It's, again, like a kind of shimmer shadow, but not really. I'm going to place this right to this corner of the eye. Just like that. Okay, now we're going somewhere. I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 412 brush and just start to blend out these edges once again. 
and I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same step to this other eye and I'm going to show you guys how I clean up my makeup just so that you guys can get a feel of how like I just feel like once you do your your face makeup everything starts coming together and I like to start off by doing my eye makeup because I do have quite a bit of fallout because I played around with the shimmers shimmers usually like if you start to blend them out I like using shimmers just to pack them on and like look really pretty on the lid but when you use them to blend them out you do experience quite a bit of fallout so be mindful of that if you do decide to purchase this palette and use the shimmer shades to blend them out just like I did in today's video. Um, so again I'm going to do this other eye off of camera and then I'm going to do my face makeup with you guys uh, BRB. Alright, so I finished this other eye. I just did apply some mascara on both of my top lashes. I'm still undecided whether I want to put eyeshadow underneath this part right here. Um, but I'm going to just go ahead and apply my face makeup before I decide whether I want to do that. So I'm going to go in with this Laura Mercier primer. This is the Pure Canvas Power Primer. And this is silicone free. I'm going to just go ahead and place that there. I am starting to break out quite a bit. I need to drink more water. I don't mind wearing silicone primers. I feel like silicone primers to me fill in my pores a lot better than these kind of primers. I just like applying this as my base before applying my foundation because my skin has been feeling a little bit drier. Actually, for the past year, it's been really dry because of my acne. I've been working on clearing up my skin. Right now, I'm just going through like a little... It's nothing compared to what I had before, so I am i can't complain too much about a little pimple here. And here. And, and here. <laughs> I'm going to go in with one of my favorite drugstore foundations. This one is from Wet n Wild. And this is their Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I'm using the color Amber Beige. So I'm going to just go ahead and apply it. I'm applying it to where I don't have any pimples because I don't want to spread anything. Well, it probably is already spreading like that. Now I'm going to take my Morphe sponge and I'm just going to go ahead and distribute the foundation all throughout the face. This pimple right here is really, really hurting me right now. I tried popping it last night. Girl, that shit popped real good. But now I feel like I still need to pop it quite a bit because it, it's hurting. But I'm not going to touch it for now. This foundation is honestly... The perfect match for my skin color. I wish I was able to match all of my other foundations to this exact shade. I just feel like a lot of foundations don't... I don't know. <laughs> I just can't find the right shade for me, you know? But this one is like the perfect shade. Again, I'm using the color Amber Beige. So one thing with dewy foundations, obviously you do like... If you kind of have combination skin like I do, like I said, I do have very dry skin, but at the same time throughout the day, I start to get really oily in my T-zone usually. So I do like setting my I I do like setting my face with powder just so that it has more control over the areas where I do tend to get oily. Um, but you guys can see just with applying my foundation, my eye makeup already looks different. I don't think I want to use any eyeshadow underneath this area because it is still daytime and I just want to uh, not really look so smoked out because I want to go about my day and not look like I'm about to go out to a club or something. <laughs> so I'm going to take the Pretty Fresh Concealer and this one is in the shade Medium 90W. I'm just going to be applying it to this corner of the eye. I feel like a little goes along with a long way with this concealer. I'm also going to take the tiny little Hank and Henry beauty sponge. I use this so much you guys like so much. So I'm going to go ahead and start to apply this concealer. Focus it into this area where I want it to really be brightened up. Okay so once I have done that there with this area I'm going to take um, a, a side where it doesn't have concealer and just start to kind of like go over that eyeshadow just so that 
you know, it looks a little bit more blended out. I don't want the line to be like super clean like I had it before, you know. I hope you guys know what I mean, but yeah, it really brightens up this under eye area really nicely. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this side. All right, so this is what I mean here. I do want to clean the, up this eye area, but do you guys see how it comes like out really straight? This side looks a little bit more like diffused, you know, like that outer corner. And that's because I went in with the side that doesn't have any concealer and just apply it over my kids, dude. <laughs> just apply it over the eyeshadow like this. Yeah. ¿Tú cómo estás? Bien, bien, bien. Nomás dijo tu papi que también le habías hablado. Thank you. Dice que nada más mientras sepa que le hablamos, que él siente razón de vivir, pero si no le hablamos, pues no. I ended up receiving a call from my mom, so I had to do this as a voiceover. I'm just going to continue to blend out the concealer, and I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, apply it to under the eye area to set the concealer, and anywhere else I applied concealer, and especially in the areas where I do tend to get oily, just so that I do have good control over that. Now I'm going to pick up my... Too Faced Natural Face Palette that I received from BoxyCharm and I'm going to be going in with this bronzy shade. I'm going to be bronzing my face kind of like in the contour areas just to warm up the perimeters of my face. By the way, this one is in the shade Sunny Honey and I'm also going to be applying the Pink Wink Blush and I'm going to go back into the translucent powder from Laura Mercier and applying it underneath the cheek area just to brighten up underneath the cheeks a little bit. And taking the color Satin Sheets from the same Too Faced palette to highlight my cheekbones. I don't really have cheekbones, girl. I'm eating so much. <laughs> I'm going to pick up this Milk Makeup Setting Spray. This is a blurring spray. I'm going to apply it all over the face just so that it doesn't feel so dry because I do have dry skin. Well, it's combination skin. And then applying mascara to my bottom lashes, taking my favorite pair of lashes. These are in the style Baby Girl. I mean, all of them are my favorite because they're mine. <laughs> By the way, this style here is called Baby Girl, and I just recently sold out of these. These will be restocked very soon, so make sure you guys are subscribed to my newsletter. I'll go ahead and have my website linked down below for you guys so you guys can take a look and see other styles that I do carry. I'm also picking up the lip pencil from Buxom. This one is in the color Dolly Danger. And applying this Morphe Chill Lip Gloss to the center of my lips. <laughs> And this is the finished look. Now I'm going to let you guys listen to my mom talk shit to me. ¿Cuál? <laughs> Tú sabes que a veces ni tampoco sé decirlas contigo. For the second look, this was actually the first time me using the eyeshadow palette. I'm going in with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, and this is the first time using the primer, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. I'm also taking the Hank and Henry Beauty Sponge just to blend out the primer. And then the first shadow that I'm going to be using from the palette is called Antidote. And I'm using that as my transition shade, taking it all the way up to the brow bone. I'm also using the brush that comes with the eyeshadow palette and I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. And you guys can see that this color Antidote is very, very light. Um, it can be kind of buildable, but there's not much to build up on. It's just a beautiful transition shade. And now moving on to the next shade called Good Karma. I'm using this to highlight underneath the eyebrow bone, just applying some right underneath that eyebrow. I'm going to take the flat side of the brush and I'm going to dip into this color here called Jade. And I'm going to begin applying this to the eyelid area, but I'm realizing that the brush really just... It wasn't my favorite, so I went in with my finger. 
let me just say that this shade is very foiled and so gorgeous i love it you guys can see obviously how beautiful it is and now to warm up the outer corner of the eye i'm taking the fluffy side of the brush and just packing on the color hex just to the outer corner and just to see how this next color looked i really wanted to apply it to the eye Taking the color Meditate, I applied it just to the center of the eye and I really do notice the difference and I loved it. And then applied these lashes here from Siempre Bella in the style Soulmates. For the final touch, I applied a little bit of Bloodstone underneath the lash line and that completes this look. I hope you guys like this super simple look. I did this look for me to go out to a dinner date with my boyfriend for his birthday, and I just wanted to do something very simple, like I said, so hopefully you guys like it. Please let me know which look was your favorite down below in the comments. So I apologize because I just, you know, I had to do a voiceover because my mom called me and we were just chatting, catching up. Um, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look that I did here and as my final thoughts in regards to this palette I mean, it's really pretty and I really love the shimmer shadows I think the look that I just did came out really really nice and also that other look um, But it just has four matte shades and I like Having a mixture a good mixture between matte shades and shimmer shades just so that I can create more looks I don't like using shimmers for transition shades or just like blending them out because I do experience a lot of fallout And I just don't like how it looks blended out when you start to get to this top area That's why I kind of kept the blue color like a little bit underneath the brow bone. I tried to at least um, It's it's a really pretty palette. I, I do want to say that urban decay always makes really beautiful palettes um, but for me personally, I do wish that there were more matte shades. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. $54 for four matte shades and the rest of shimmers, you know? Like, that's a little bit, like, I'm not sure about it. <laughs> um, but again, it's a really pretty palette. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Are you guys going to be picking it up? Do you guys already have it? Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you have not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below and also turn on post notifications so you're notified every time I do have a new video here. Again, I'm reminding you guys that my content is going to start slowing down because towards the evenings, I'm going to start working on my um, Halloween looks for the month of October. I want to get a little bit of a head start. Well, I feel like I'm already running behind. But I'm going to start working on that and I'm not going to have a lot of time to do videos here for my YouTube channel. Um, so stay up to date with me on my Instagram, Tracy Does Makeup. And also, if you guys are interested in shopping my eyelashes, I will have my website linked down below so you guys can take a look. And uh, yeah, again, thank you for being here and I will see you guys in my next video.